So one of the simplest ways to begin your meditation practice is to watch your body, watch the sensations of the body with a slightly different understanding of watching. We are used to the idea of watching things, watching movement, watching change. That's the natural way of watching. We love to watch things when something changes. But we rarely watch the unchanging. We rarely watch stillness. We rarely watch silence. Body is as much a product of movement as it is a product of stillness. Body is not always moving. It's not always flopping around. It experiences moments of deep stillness. But the mind is so preoccupied with movement that when the body is still, it either drifts away or it goes to sleep. It doesn't watch the body when it is still. To enter your being, to enter from the outside, from the periphery of your senses, which you can experience on the body. To go in and connect with the center of your being, you have to move from the gross sensations of the body to the subtle sensations and eventually to the subtlest, which only you can observe. Sensations can be observed by an instrument, a machine. You can have a machine to measure your body temperature, measure the blood flow, measure the weight of your body, the pressure of your body and all that. But what that machine can never measure, can never come even close to measuring is the level of stillness, the depth of silence. That is what you are looking to watch because if you can watch nothing, then you are connecting with that part of you which is subtler than the subtlest of things. And that is who you are. You are not the gross body. You're not the gross sensations. They are ripples in the ocean of your consciousness. They are just on the surface. You are the ocean. The objective of meditation is to become the ocean. You don't have to go far. You are in it. The ocean is all around you. You are swimming in it. But you're too preoccupied with the waves. You've enjoyed watching waves so much that you have forgotten the ocean. But there's nowhere else to start. You have to start with the waves because that is your reality now. And then you can slowly move inward. So let us take this journey. Let me guide you from the outside to the inside so that you can get a sense of what is it to really move in meditation. Movement in meditation is very different from movement in the outer world. 
the dimension is different, the space is different, the, the feeling is different. And the way you connect with yourself is different. But at least you can get a sense of, oh, this is how movement happens. And this is the movement I need to be following. There is the outward movement and the inward movement. And I want to follow the inward movement. Sit in a comfortable posture. Close your eyes. And for a moment, forget what's happening on the outside. The outside is not your business. Anything and everything beyond the sensations of your body, what you can experience through the body is outside. What is inside? Your breath. Just gently observe your breath. Watch how the breath moves in and out. Watch it gently. Just watch the sensation as the breath moves in. How does it make you feel? Your body experiences something as the breath goes in. And it experiences something as the breath goes out. Both these experiences are different. The difference is subtle, but very profound. Literally, when you breathe in, you're breathing in life. And the rhythm in which you breathe is the same rhythm as the universe. Your breath is the beating heart of the universe. Your breathing is happening at the center of everything. The universe moves to the rhythm of your breathing. Breath is not just something that is happening inside your body. It is happening inside the dimension of life. Just be the breath for a few moments, become the breath. Forget all about your past. Forget all about your future. Forget your name, forget your form. Forget the desire to meditate, forget the desire to become enlightened. This moment is complete. There is nothing beyond this moment. You are this moment. And the breath is its witness. A silent reminder of your true nature. Calm, gentle, happening. Notice how you're not doing the breath. You're not making it happen. You're not moving the breath. The breath is moving you. The breath is its own center. It is not dependent on your body or your thoughts or your emotions or your desires. It is just an independent happening and you are only watching it curiously as if it is it is not even yours it doesn't even belong to you what is this breath go beyond all assumptions become extraordinarily curious about everything that's happening in the body 
don't assume that you know what you're watching. You have no idea what the breath is. You have no conception of how deep the breath goes and of how far it extends. Be gentle and just observe the breath. And slowly move with the breath. If your mind drifts a little bit, allow it. As long as it wants to drift, watching the sensations of the body, allow it. If it drifts all the way into the mind and goes into imagination, gently bring it back. Notice the subtle difference between the sensations happening in your body and your mind thinking about it. They both are very close, but they are two very different things. Sensations are real. They are happening here, now. But thinking is happening either in the past or in the future. When you think about the breath, you have slipped away from the center. You have moved away from the present moment. But thinking is unavoidable. Thinking has been your nature for so long. It is natural to think about everything, including your breath. But don't fight with the mind. Allow it to think about the breath, but you watch the breath. Just watch your body as a pure sensation, not a physical entity. Your eyes are closed. You don't know what your body looks like. You're not watching a mirror. You're not looking into the mirror. You don't know how you look. You don't know how you move. You know nothing about your physicality. Your reality at this point in time is just your breath and the sensations around the breath. Your body is a sensation that is happening around the breath. You have been that center you are the breath, but you have become interested in what's happening around it. And that sensation is what you recognize as your body. Your body is as unreal as the clouds moving in the sky. It is just a sensation, a passing sensation a moving cloud, a drifting cloud. Notice how there is nothing real in the body. It becomes real only when you visualize your body, when you start imagining how you look. But when you don't imagine, if you're just watching the sensations, there is nothing physical there. It's almost like your body is a subtle electrical current. Apart from that, there's nothing solid there. There's nothing real. The breath is real. The center of the breath is real. And the one who's watching that breath is real. You are the one who's watching all this. Keep your awareness on the senses. Keep your awareness on that sense that is watching the sensations of the body. Notice how as you're sitting, 
with eyes closed, immersed in the experience of this moment, there's someone sitting far away, nowhere near the breath, nowhere near the body, nowhere near the sensations, someone sitting far away and watching all this. uninterrupted watching. When you're relaxed, you can connect with this watcher. Your true being, your true nature. Move from the realm of imagination to the realm of feeling. At this moment, you are nothing but a sensation. A feeling. Observe what's happening on the surface of your body. Observe the tingling sensation on your skin. Feel the weight of your body. Pay attention to the temperature of the body. Pay attention to the temperature of the breath. Move all the way from your breath to your toes and from there move up your legs, your hands, your shoulders, your neck, your face, your forehead and above. And start from above, move to your forehead, your face, your neck, your shoulders, your whole body, your hands, your legs, to your toes and out. Traverse the entire length of your body, not in your imagination, but purely as a sensation. See if you can track your body without seeing it. If you're not seeing it, how much of your body can you track in your sensations? Notice how your awareness automatically moves towards those areas where you are experiencing maximum stress, maximum pain, maximum discomfort. And notice how all those areas that are comfortable you're not even watching them. Those sensations that are not moving, those sensations that are not disturbing you, are not even being watched. Now slowly come back to the breath and see if you can connect with the stillness of the breath. As much as the breath is moving, it is also still. Connect with that still part of the breath. You can find this center between two breaths. As the breath comes in, there is a pause. A brief moment when it is neither coming in nor going out. It is just there. Watch that stillness. And then as the breath goes out, before you take another breath in, again watch that stillness. You don't have to force it. If you're finding it difficult to watch it, give it some time. Just be in and around the breath. Be in the vicinity of the breath and eventually you can come to the center. Just watch the stillness of the breath, the deep stillness. And see if you can keep your focus on that stillness for a little longer. See if you can enter that stillness. 
See if you can expand that stillness. That's your center. That's where you are. All of the sensations are happening around this center. Move around a little, but eventually come back to the center. Keep coming back to the center. Let nothing else enter your consciousness. Everything has disappeared. Nothing exists outside. There's no world, there are no people, there are no experiences, there's no universe, nothing. This moment, the one who's watching the breath and the breath, these are the only two realities. Everything else is pure imagination. If your mind starts thinking, it is entering an imaginary realm. Bring it back. That is your fight against the mind. It has lived in the world of imagination for too long. It has built its house in an imaginary realm. And it has put all its precious dreams and desires inside that house. And it wants to go there. It wants to be there. It's painful to pull yourself away from your thoughts. But when you know that your thoughts are not real, you are real, your breath is real, you can come back to the real. The sensations of your body might be subtle, but they're real. It's a door through which you can enter your being. You cannot enter your being through your mind. You can only drift in your mind, farther and farther away from yourself. The farther you go, the more lost you are. Happiness, peace, joy, contentment are just different words for coming home. You just have to come back home. You just have to come back to your true dwelling. That is what you're longing for. That is your search. That is your ultimate desire to come back to that one place where you can feel certain, where you can feel contented and blissful, where you can be without the worry about the future or the past where you can simply be as yourself that is what you're looking for a deep connection with your true self which is not your body not your mind but just this moment you are the very space that you're occupying you are not those sensations that you're watching you're the one who's watching. You are the consciousness. You are the aliveness. You are the eye that sees everything. Whatever you can watch is not you. If you can watch it, it is outside of you. Continue to watch. And make a note that everything you're watching, however close it may appear to be, it is still not you. You are the one who is watching. And be with that watcher. Be with that seer. Be with that self. Continue to be in and around the sensations of the body. You can move around only along the sensations of your body, not 
farther than that. That much you can drift. That much you can allow the mind to drift. Just around your breath. A few inches up, a few inches down, a few inches left and a few inches right. That's about it. Be around the center of the breath. That is your door. Keep knocking at the door. A day will come when it will open. 